So I'm obviously not from here, but I live here. I live in Dublin, live in Ireland, live in Ireland over a decade now. I love living in Ireland. Uh, but I gotta throw a word of, uh, uh, of caution for you guys. Please, little, appreciate the foreigners. We try very hard. You guys don't make it easy all the time because you're tough to understand. And I'm not even talking about the accents. I'm not even talking about the Gaelic. Even when you're speaking perfectly flat, unaccented English words, sometimes nobody knows what you mean. I'll give you an example. Two years ago, my wife and I went on holiday. holiday. We go to hol holiday? How did I, you know why? Because it's called a fucking vacation. That's why I fucked that up. That's me trying to meet you people halfway. So a couple of summers ago, my wife and I go on vacation for two weeks. Go to Italy, come back, I go into work, I see a woman I haven't seen in a little bit, and she hits me with this phrase. She says, look at you, you must have been away, sure, the color of you. <laughs> End of sentence. And now she's waiting for me to respond, and I am waiting for her to finish her fractured thought. Because the color of you doesn't mean anything, Galway. That is a meaningless phrase. It's like that other thing you people say, here comes your man, the head on him. <laughs> the head on him, what? We all have heads. It's the only thing we all have in common. But so she goes, the color of you, and I'm sitting there, I'm thinking in my head, I'm like, well, she's gonna finish what she's talking about. Oh God, she's done, oh no, oh no. And then I thought to myself, Jim, calm down. You've been living here a long time. You understand that Irish people, they got phrases that just don't mean nothing and they throw them around the place. It's, so what you need to do is just think of a phrase that also doesn't mean anything and fire it right back at her. So I thought for a second and I looked her dead in the face and I said, well, sure, you know yourself. I don't know what that means. I have never known what that means, but that is a versatile phrase. If you're not from Ireland, keep that one handy. You can use that anywhere. You can use it when you get pulled over by the cops. Do you know how fast you were going? Ah, sure, you know yourself. You, you can like lie at a job interview. Do you have much experience managing teams? Oh, you know yourself. I'm convinced you could propose marriage to an Irish girl with just that phrase. If you had the ring and you just took the knee and you're like, ah, sure, you know yourself, there you go. So I hit her with a you know yourself, bounces right off her. She's still waiting for me to respond to the color of you. And I, was, I panicked, I just pretended I had to be somewhere. So I was like, oh, well, look at the time, gotta go, color of you too. And I, figured, I got away from her and I called my wife who's from Ireland. So through her, I am becoming fluent in all y'all's garbage. Uh, she goes, uh, I go, I just got told the color of me. What the hell does that mean? And my wife goes, calm down. She could hear I was getting agitated. She goes, the color of you is a compliment. It is an Irish compliment. It means you've clearly been somewhere where the sun comes out for more than one day. <laughs> if you've never heard it, it's a compliment. The color of you, I get it. Very nice thing to say. It is a compliment. It is kind of a compliment that could only have been invented in a society made up of nothing but white people. <laughs> I'm originally from Washington, D.C. And in my hometown, the color of you, not a compliment, man. <laughs> Not something I'm just gonna drop on a taxi driver. <laughs> hey man, busy night, color are you? <laughs> Irish people, I hope Irish people appreciate how well your national stereotype travels. You realize that you are welcome anywhere on the planet. There's a lot of places Americans aren't welcome anymore. And spare a thought for English people, they can't go anywhere. <laughs> English people can't even visit the other two countries that are on the same island as them. Without getting told to fuck off back home. Irish people can go anywhere and you're welcome anywhere. You kick open the bar, even a bar where they don't like strangers and everyone looks over, uh, who are you stranger? We don't like strangers, where are you from? And you go, I'm from Ireland. And they go, Ireland? I know all about you. You like to drink and you're a good storyteller. That's the perfect combination. Come here, sit down. Everybody shush, maybe he'll sing us a song. They're a very musical people, you know. Perhaps he'll tell us a story about something called a bog, whatever the fuck that is. Over a decade living here, I got no idea what a bog is, people. I came down from Dublin today, I could have driven through one for all I know. I know three things about bogs from Irish literature and theater. I know that a bog is something that one may stand on. 
I know that a bog is somehow simultaneously something that one may drown in. <laughs> and finally, I know that a bog is something that you can cut into little pieces and set on fire. <laughs> and I don't get it and that is not my fault. <laughs> because you people have invented a new state of matter somehow. <laughs> and you use it to heat your homes. <laughs> because sure, there's a lovely smell off of it. <laughs> How am I supposed to explain that to my friends back home? Am I supposed to call somebody and be like, oh yeah, no, I had a great weekend. I was on a bog this weekend. Oh, what's that? You don't know what a bog is? It's very easy to explain. I'll explain it to you now. A bog is a flammable floor that you can fall into and drown. <laughs> they use it to heat their homes, the smell. I gotta be careful with that joke in Galway. This place is full of boggers. I love the word bogger. That's a great word. It just sounds funny. I like it. But I had to check. I got, I got you know, a buddy who's from Tipperary. I had to check with him, see if I could use it on stage. Because I don't know y'all's slang. Maybe it's, maybe it's like a bad word. Maybe it's like as bad as the N-word is in my country, and I don't know that. And I'm just up here going, bogger, bogger, bogger. Some guy in the back from Awfully stands up, is like, hey man, shut up! You're not allowed to use that word. And then he goes home, and it's like the only pronoun he uses. He's like, what's happening, my bogger? Nothing much, my bogger. Hey, you got that 20 quid you owe me, Bogger? Bogger, please. <laughs> All right, you guys have been a lot of fun to talk to me.